Hey, it's Josh Hewitt, and it's time to do it with Hewitt. I just recently made a video talking about how to improve your mind-muscle connection. And in that video, I touched on the, um, the strategy of using isometrics before your workout, before each exercise, to improve your muscle engagement and muscle activation. So I wanted to expand on that in this video and uh, just demonstrate how you can actually incorporate isometrics, isometric contractions to improve your mind-muscle connection and your muscle activation during a workout. So let's look at some ways to incorporate isometric exercise into your workouts. For example, here is a single leg hip bridge as an isometric contraction for your glutes. This will be a great preparation for hip extension leading into an exercise such as a hip thruster. You can also hold the first repetition for a few seconds to further engage the muscle group before performing concentric reps. I also recommend performing each repetition with a slow controlled tempo to focus on engaging and contracting the target muscle group. Here's a great lat activation exercise, performing internal rotation and extension at the shoulder, performing an isometric contraction of the lat before moving on to an exercise such as lat pull downs. Again, holding the first repetition for a few seconds before moving into the full set. Really focus on controlling the eccentric or the negative portion of each repetition and squeezing, contracting hard on the pulling or the concentric portion of each rep using a full range of motion to fully lengthen and fully contract or shorten the target muscle. Band pull-aparts are a great activation exercise for scapular retraction. This is a good prep exercise before moving into a rowing or pulling movement, such as a bent over or t-bar row. So here again I'm holding the first rep for a few seconds to further engage the target muscles and then moving on to my slow controlled focused repetitions, trying to maintain continuous tension throughout the set and fully lengthen and contract on each rep. Finally, we're looking at an uh, isometric activation exercise for the pecs. This can also be done one arm at a time using a band for resistance. And then I'll move into some sort of chest press movement. Uh, I like to perform a dumbbell press where I can press the dumbbells together at the top and perform a, an isometric squeeze before I begin the set. Uh, this can also be done on a chest press machine or performing a, a chest press with cables as well. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you liked it, give it a like and make sure you subscribe for more videos coming up soon. And until next time, stay strong.